Buenas noches. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Okay. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Do you hear me? Me escuchan? Yes, yes. I hear you. Strong yeah. and clear. I don't hear you. No les escucho a ustedes. Hello, yes, I hear. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, pues sí, hoy les escucho. Okay. ¿Me escuchan a mí? Yes, teacher. Yes. I think. Okay. Now I hear you. Now I hear you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining today's class. Well, today is the first class. And uh, well, thank you guys for being here. It is a pleasure for me to be here and to be your teacher in this module. This is module number four. This is module number four, and we are about to begin with it. Yes. Yes. Well, let me ask you, how are you? How do you feel? How was your day? Was it good? Was it bad? Tiring? Busy? Tell me. Oh, always the same, teacher. Um, it very. It's it was uh, my day is it was a uh, very hardly. <laughs> okay, it was it was and, very uh, hard. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I but, understand. Okay, it was it was hard. It was very hard. We bien, we bien. That's good. That's good. Good to know. Good to know. Fantastic. Let me just bring it back. Okay, it's fine. Okay, excellent, excellent. Muy bien. Uh, let me start by taking attendance. I'm going to take attendance in this moment. So people, if you hear your name, say hi. It's here. Okay, from your own. Uh, let me show you a couple of things here. Primeramente, les mostraré lo básico, lo que sabemos. Okay, uh, los reglamentos, plataforma, grupo de WhatsApp. Okay, tareas que entregar cada semana. Uh, entre reglas que habrán que, que, que también conseguir. Okay, Tengo varias cosas que tenemos que hacer. Bueno, es el, día, es el primer día. Bienvenidos todos. Gracias por estar acá y por conectarse. Bienvenidos. Buenas noches. Mi nombre es Mauricio. Me apellido de Cigarán, Mauricio Cigarán. Más conocido, más corto, así. Ok. Yes. Muy bien. Uh, general Information, Información General, Audio y Video. Ok. Siempre, uh, si no me escuchan, siempre háganos saber. Si no me escuchan. O si escuchan que se, que se corta, que se traba. Siempre avísenme para poder chequear qué, qué está mal de este lado. O ya sea audio o video, cualquier de las cosas que, que, que dé problema o causa, causa problema, me avisan para poder revisar si es acá o si es su audio o mi audio. Ok, en viceversa. Ok, creo que todos tenemos acceso a las clases, lo que estamos acá y bueno, no hay ningún mensaje en el grupo. Ok. Creo que todos tenemos acceso a la clase, así que estamos bien en ese punto. Uh, pregunto, antes de todo, ¿tenemos acceso a la plataforma? ¿Quién no tiene acceso a la plataforma? ¿Quién no tiene acceso aún? ¿Quién no tiene acceso? Me dice, por favor. Yo, no, yo todavía no he entrado, Pinche. Todavía no he entrado. Okay. Es que ahora vi el mensaje que me mandaron. Pero ok, es, muy bien, eh, muy bien. Intentemos entrar. Terminando la clase, voy a intentar entrar. Okay. Como le perfecto, ahora, perfecto. La primera... es, es lo que iba a sugerir. Okay. Todos, todos, si es posible para todos esta noche, después de clase, justo después de clase, revisen su correo y, y su contraseña, accedan a la plataforma para ver si les aparece el módulo número 4. Si no aparece el módulo 4, es porque no están inscritos aún. Si es así, avisan a, me avisan a mí, el grupo general o privado y tenemos una solución rápida a ese problema. Ok. Uh, otro punto, el grupo de WhatsApp. Creo que todos estamos en el grupo de WhatsApp. Si no estamos en el grupo aún, si no estamos todavía en el grupo, vamos a, a nuestro correo. En el correo tenemos la información 
y ahí aparece el enlace directo hacia el grupo de WhatsApp. Ok. Ya eso a la vez. Sí. Ok. Recuerden, ese grupo se puede usar para cualquier tipo de, de información productiva. Ok. Con, con respecto a tareas que tenemos que entregar, algunas preguntas con las clases, preguntas sobre inglés y entre otras cosas. Ok. Muy bien. Ahora. Si vamos acá a tareas y evaluaciones que se hacen cada semana y, bueno, cada semana, cada día. Dice acá el primer punto, es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar, dice, el curso satisfactoriamente. Okay. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Ok, ahora acá mínimo de tareas y exámenes que están en la plataforma mínimo tenemos que conseguir un 80%. Ese es el porcentaje mínimo para poder uh, ser promovido al siguiente módulo. O más bien es uno de los requisitos para poder ser promovido al siguiente módulo. Ok, toda tarea que tenemos que entregar, tarea o evaluación que tenemos que entregar, todo eso está en la plataforma, ok. No hay nada más que les entregue yo, todo está ahí, así que para buscarlo, ahí si accedemos y tenemos toda la información. Dice, tare, uh, todas las tareas, dice, de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completados, dice, antes de cada martes, perdón, ahí dice, no es martes, es cada viernes. Cada viernes a la medianoche, dice, ya que se registro lo desempeñado ahí se por, semanalmente. En nuestro caso, no sería el día martes, sería el día viernes. Que me corrijo esa parte en ese momento. Perdón, tengo que... ¿Qué pasa aquí? This, I don't, I'm not used to this thing. Okay. Vamos a ver. Seguimos con compartir. Vamos a ver esta cosa. Ok, seguimos, seguimos. La fecha límite para, dice acá, para terminar, dice, o entregar el examen medio, que es el midterm, que es el viernes 7 de julio, antes de la medianoche. Ojo, que este día aparentemente no habrá, no habrá sesión porque es un asunto nacional en todo el país, no habrá trabajo ese día el día 7 de julio, hasta donde sé. Okay. Luego veremos si, si, si es así o no. Okay. Entonces, para el midterm, que es el examen de medio mes o el que se hace la segunda semana, último día será el viernes 7 de julio. Luego dice la fecha límite para entregar el examen final de final exam es el viernes 21 de julio, que es el último día de clases, antes de la medianoche. Ojo, esa fecha puede cambiar a un día, a un día después, ¿ok? Que sería el día lunes, 21, 22, 23, 24 de julio. Si en dado caso cambia la fecha. El libro o manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma directamente. Usted, usted, usted accede en una opción de la plataforma, aparece el libro, y aparece el libro en la parte de arriba, en la plataforma, usted lo puede descargar de ahí o lo puede ver desde ahí. Tiene dos opciones, descargarlo o verlo directamente desde la plataforma. Y ojo acá, no usamos material de terceros. ¿okay? No usamos ningún otro tipo de libro o cualquier otro tipo de información que sea aparte de la que ya está entregada o, o que usamos. ¿okay? Seguimos. Dice acá, nombre, requisitos, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. ¿okay? Nombre completo. Hay que tener un nombre completo siempre, ¿ok? En el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre, ¿ok? Nombre, guión, luego ponemos oyente, en el caso de oyentes. Cámara encendida por, para toda la sesión, ¿ok? Ojo con esta parte muy importante, ¿ok? Me gusta mucho trabajar con todos y que todos participen. Si veo que alguno está con cámara apagada, para mí es como que no esté porque no sé si está o no está. Y puede que le hable y no sé si le hable y no está. Y estoy hablando, la, le hablo y le hablo y le hablo y le hablo tiempo. Entonces, uh, si en dado caso no la pueden encender, yo entiendo, 
¿okay? a ver eso si el internet es lento con, con la cámara encendida uh, camina mucho más lenta en la clase se traba por eso entonces ahí entiendo o que la, la cámara no sirva o, o, o la compu está lenta por esa razón no sé cualquier cualquier cosa puede pasar entonces avísenme antes para poder para poder estar ya al tanto de que no tendrá la cámara encendida en ese momento o ese día minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible creo que este es entendible y recordemos la participación activa como les comentaba me gusta que todos participen y me gusta preguntarles a todos ok todos todos vamos uno por uno siempre uno por uno así me gusta trabajar a mí uno por uno así que aquí no, ninguno se va a escapar todos van a participar ok preguntas hasta el momento Do you have any questions? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? No, teacher. Ok, muy bien. No, teacher. Sí, es en que eh, en mi caso, eh, es el, ahora y mañana voy, voy a estar en el trabajo. Bueno, de hecho estoy en el trabajo porque estoy cubriendo nocturnidad, entonces eh, voy a estar con la cámara apagada por lo menos estos dos días, digamos. Porque okay. pasó esta eventualidad, pero igual voy a estar, tratar de estar pendiente, digamos, en la clase. Muy bien. Perfecto, entiendo, ok, gracias por avisar Gracias por avisar, muy bien Yancy, Andrea, muy bien Ok Continuemos Vamos acá con respecto a la asistencia Asistencia, dice Asistencia al 100% de las clases A todas De principio hasta el fin Y dice acá Cumplir con los 120 minutos clase Dice, uh, genera, dice, la asistencia efectiva en por cada sesión. Quiere decir que si usted está solamente media hora, bueno, 10 minutos, 20, 30, 40, o lo que esté, solamente eso será contado como, como que ha estado en la clase, ¿ok? ¿Sí? Si usted entra solamente 20 minutos, 10 minutos a la clase, a la sesión, solamente esa, esa hora se le va a marcar. Ok, muy bien. Dice acá, la asistencia se tomará, dice, en dos ocasiones. Mínimo de la, las 8 y 20, 8 y 10, 8 y 20. Y por último, o la segunda vez será a las 9 y 40, o quizás antes o un poquito después. Luego dice, se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente y tener cámara encendida. El otro punto es sesiones uno a uno disponibles. Cada participante será asignado 10 minutos para, para que se quede en cada clase al final para poder reforzar, uh, aclarar cualquier duda, cualquier problema de conveniente que tengamos con el inglés o con el tema o con cualquier otro tema de inglés. Pues para eso serán los 10 minutos para cada uno. Y dice permisos no disponibles. Quiere decir que si usted no está, si se le corresponde este día y no está, entonces pasamos al siguiente. Y su oportunidad se pierde. Ok. Así sería, de esa forma. Continuamos acá. Zoom, tenemos acá la opción de silencio cuando tengamos mucho ruido, en mi caso, o en su caso, tengamos ruido en las casas o alrededor, que sea por mascota, carro, cualquier cosa que pueda pasar pues fácilmente pongamos acá, vamos abajo y ponemos el sonido, dice, dice silencio, que es mute. Solo le damos mute y pues ya no escuchan y ya no interrumpen a nadie o perturban la clase. La cámara, el chat, breakout rooms, botón ask for help, en respeto ante todo. Ahora vamos acá. Para cada semana vamos a trabajar de esta forma. Sección 1 o la unidad 1, recordemos que la sección 1, 2, 3, 4 equivalen a la unidad 1, 2, 3 y 4. La unidad 1 se cubrirá en una semana. Este es del día de ahora hasta el día viernes. Ok, hoy 26 de junio al 30 de junio será la sección 1 o la semana 1 o la unidad número 1. La unidad número 2 o sección 2 inicia la siguiente semana desde el 3 de julio hasta el 7 de julio. Ojo, el 7 puede que cambie porque hay un asunto que, que, 
se ha hecho viral estos días, así que pueda que sea que no haya sesión ese día. Semana 3 o unidad 3 inicia el 10 de julio hasta el 14 de julio. Y la semana 4 o unidad 4 inicia el 11, perdón, inicia el 17 de julio hasta el 21. Así sería. Ok, como dije, las fechas pueden cambiar, pueden cambiar. Muy bien, ahora, preguntas. No, ok. Vamos a ver, un poco sobre mí, les comentaba que mi nombre es Mauricio, apellido Cigarán, uh, mi nombre completo es Mauricio Cigarán, es mi nombre. Y bueno, soy de Usulután. He vivido acá en Zulután por toda mi vida. Acá he vivido siempre. Y soy maestro de inglés. He sido maestro de inglés desde el 2016. He trabajado en lugares privados, públicos y pues en diferentes áreas con diferentes personas, niños, adultos, adolescentes, mayores. Y pues así sería básicamente. Uh, actualmente trabajo en una escuela acá en Jiquilis con Zulután. Y también trabajo para inglés corporativo de vez en cuando. Ok. Eso sería yo. Ok. Mucho gusto a todos conocerlos. Mi nombre es Mauricio. Ok. Ahí estoy. Ahora veamos acá. Dice. Let's get to know each other. Conozcámonos. Let's get to know each other. Conozcámonos. What's your learning expectation and what are your hobbies? People, I got two questions for you. I have these two questions for you. The first question is, what's your learning expectation and what are your hobbies? ¿Qué esperan aprender este, en este módulo y cuáles son sus pasatiempos? ¿Qué cosas les gusta hacer? ¿Qué no hacen? Díganme, tell me, tell me. Yes. Bueno, estamos, estamos un poco, un poco. Um, hello. Hi. In my friends. Uh, my expectations are to improve my English and maybe get get another job, a better job. And okay. my hobbies are listen to music and watch a lot of movies. Okay, watch a lot of movies. Muy bien, muy bien. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Denise. Okay, alguien más? Well, teacher, my expectation to for the for this model models uh, and it's a uh, continu uh, continue to learn english um uh, i try to perfect 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 perfection perfection perfect perfection how do you say perfect perfection in english perfect, perfect. Yes. okay uh, okay thank you um I want to perfect in my English, in my uh, uh, my speak speak more fluent. Yes, fluent. Uh, speak more fluent. Uh, I, I want to, yeah, and I want to practice, practice, practice English. Yeah, and uh, among other things, uh, my hobbies are. Uh, I want to. Uh, I like. I love. Like, I really love play football. Yeah, um, I like I like my job. <laughs> I like the uh, use all kind of cameras, video camera, and I I love what um, I really love my my job. Okay. Yes, That's I good. think it's all. Good. That's good. Okay. Not everybody loves their job. <laughs> I love my yeah. job. Yes, I do. I do. I love my job. Yes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's yeah. hard to love. It's hard to love it, but you have to. You have to. It's an obligation. <laughs> okay. Muy bien. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Anybody else? Alguien más? Come on, guys. Show me what you got. Hello. Alguien? <clears throat> Hello, hello everybody. Hello, hello Jorge. Um, my expectations is um, 
improve my pronouns in English. Pronunciation, pronunciation. Pronunciation, yeah. And um, learn more vocabulary. Okay. And learn more vocabulary. Okay. Um, and what are your hobbies? I'm sorry? What are your hobbies? What do you like to do? Uh, I like to um, see uh, TV shows. Okay. And read books. Okay, and read books. Excellent, excellent. I don't like to read books. <laughs> I don't like to read books. I'm lazy. Perez also. I'm lazy. I don't like reading. <laughs> okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, muy bien. Mayra, let, let us hear you, Mayra. Hi. Yes. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, in my case, my expectation for this module is to learn new things and uh, improve my pronunciation. Okay. Okay. What are your hobbies? In my case, my favorite hobby is uh, read, very read and watch movies. I love watch movies. Okay, read and watch movies. You, you like to watch movies and you like to read. Okay, yeah. that's good, that's good, excellent. Thank you very much. <laughs> Carlos Eliezer, hi. Hi, teacher. Hey. Um, my exp expectation, <clears throat> oh, sorry, I saw a little sick. Uh, okay. My expectation um, for me is practice my, my listening uh, because for me it's a, a little hard and li I understand clearly when you say me uh, something. Okay. Okay. So you want to improve your listening? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Noted. Noted. Okay. Very good. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue. Sandra, you there? Hi. Sorry, I have a problem with my cell phone. It's good fine. evening, teacher. Um, today I'm not so good because oh, no. I saw I saw tired. <laughs> okay, you're tired. I'm sorry. Yes. But, but it's mon it's Monday. What happened? It's lunes. Yes, <laughs> of course it, it's it's Monday. That's it's the it, official it's, uh, it's a really <laughs> it's Monday. Monday. <laughs> okay. Tell okay. us. Okay. Um, the question: uh, What are my hobby? Your hobbies. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I like to ride a bicycle or I play bas bas basketball or climbing. Climbing? Climbing. Climbing? Climbing, climbing. Climbing. Yes. Okay, it's so only that. All right, that's okay, that's okay. It's okay, all right. Let me hear somebody. Uh, let me continue with somebody else. Let me see Anna, Anna Victoria. Good evening. Good evening. My name is uh, Victoria Galán. And my expectation is to um, learn English uh, more. And my hobbies are Hiking and bill washing, um, in specific, uh, short bills. I like see short bills. Like short videos? Mm -hmm. I like layeras. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. All right, all right. That's good, that's good. You have very strange hobbies. <laughs> okay, that's okay, that's okay. Thank you for... Uh, participating. Let's continue with Yancy Andrea. Hello, Yancy. 
Can you hear me or do you hear me? Do you copy? Hola. Hi, good evening. Is my Spanish is to learn um, more, um, more of the important language. Um, my favorite hobby is to spend the time with um, my sleeping. With? Sleeping. And sleeping. Sleeping, okay. Sleeping. <laughs> okay, we bien, we bien. Excellent. Thank you very much for that. Okay, people. Uh, we can continue, but we know we're gonna waste uh, time. Let's continue. Let's continue here. Uh, here, this is what we're gonna learn today: how to use count and non-count nouns. Como usar uh, nombres contables y no contables. Okay, I'm going to explain this to you later on. Let me stop sharing for the moment. But let me share something else. Okay, wait a minute. Let's stop here. Now I'm gonna take attendance. Ana Victoria Galaga Can Canton, right? Yes? Present. Okay, thank you. Asalia, Asalia, no sé, Asalia, Melanie Portillo de Espinosa. No. Brian David Ramirez Bernal. Brian, no. Carlos Alberto Orrego Monge. Monge. I'm here, teacher. Hi. Present. Thank you. Carlos Eliezer Dimas Soriano. I'm here, teacher. Wait. Acá está mal escrito su nombre, creo. Vamos a ver. Denise. Ah, sí, sí. Le apuesto Denise a Alejandra. Sí, ya había pedido la corrección, pero no sé por qué sigo saliendo así. Pero no es Alejandra. Ajá, Alejandra. Ok, Denise, Alejandra, Zúñiga, Aldana. Yes, presente. Ya está corregido. Thank you. Diana Yamilet, Maravilla Navas. Diana Yamilet, Maravilla Navas. No. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Present. Hello. Thank Hello. You. Present. Ismael Ernesto Boyat Solís. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez Durán. <clears throat> Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alejandro Morales Avila. Present teacher. Thank you. Raquel Elizabeth. De de la Rosa Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Sandra Ives Mendoza de Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Sara Rachel Salazar de Cosme. No. She's not here. Jancy Andrea Solórzano Castro. Presente. Thank you. Okay. Yes, we are ready, people. Estamos listos. Dice acá, teacher, it's raining. I can't hear you so good. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, it's raining everywhere. Yo por todos lados. Yes. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. I, I'm getting your messages, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. I'm reading your messages here in the group, in the, the chat. Okay, Melanie, thank you. Sandra, thank you for your messages and for letting me know about your problems. Okay, let's start. 
Okay, I'm sharing the book with you guys. I'm sharing the book with you. Acá está el libro. Let's go to page number nine. Go to page number nine. We're going to start from there. I'm going to start desde ahí. Page number nine. Okay. You got it? You got it? People, you got it? Give me a minute. If you don't have the book, what you can do is you can uh, share the book through WhatsApp. Anybody can do that through WhatsApp. Share the book through WhatsApp. And uh, in that way, everybody is going to have access to the book in a very easy way. Okay. We're ready. Teacher, one question. Yes. Uh, is the book in the platform? Yes, of course, it is there. It is there. Oh, okay. But let me see what I can do right now. Hold on, give me a moment. Where is it uh, here? Let me see if I can share that book through, what, through WhatsApp right now. Uh, like I got issues. Ok, lo acabo de enviar, ya estará, ya cargará. Creo que ya se envió. Did you get it? ¿Lo recibieron en WhatsApp? Sí, ahí lo compartí el libro. Yes. Ok. We were here. Okay, let's start. This is unit number one. This is la unidad numero uno. Unit number one, purchasing and storing. Purchasing and storing. ¿Qué significa purchasing, people? What is purchasing? Any ideas? Maybe like, like buying, buying? Okay, buying yes, something? yes. Okay, purchasing is a synonym of the verb buy. Buy, comprar. Purchase, buy. Okay, lo mismo, es un sinónimo. Yes. Storing, what is storing? Any ideas about storing? No? Storing. It's like saving, saving. Guardar, saving, almacenar, store. El verbo es store. Store. Yes, wow. store, store. Store. Yeah. Eso es el verbo. Mm -hmm. Okay. I G is, uh, okay. I uh, Storing. Muy bien. Entonces, la unidad será acerca de... Compra y almacenamiento. Like, we're going to see vocabulary that is related, related to these two words. It says here, I will be able to describe different features about the products that my or someone else's workplace purchase. Yes. Dice acá, seré capaz de describir diferentes características de los productos de mí y de la compañía de otro, los productos de otra compañía de, de otro compañero ok like whatever product other companies buy and whatever comp, uh, products your company buys ok y tenemos acá el inicio number one ask some partners about all the products that their workplaces purchase what are the features of them of it or of them yes features características like rasgos ok yes People, let's start. Iniciemos. Mention. 
Can you mention the products that your company buys or that your workplace buys? Like products. No. That's the first the first thing here. It says ask can, can, some partners can you about the other questions, products. Teacher, please. Yes, they are here. They are here. Ask some partners about all the products that their workplaces purchase. You are you are going to mention the products that your company buys. Whatever, whatever your company buys. It can be material, it can be uh, you know, anything. Okay, yes. The point is to mention to mention what the, the company buys. Yes, can you mention what your company buys? Uh, in, maybe cleaning cleaning tools. Okay, cleaning tools. Okay, what else? Can us? Good evening. Well, Good evening. in my case, my company purchased cars and paper and printers and computers and something like that. Okay. Uh, office products. <clears throat> okay. So your company buys all those products. That's that's okay. That's okay. Anybody else? Again, mas. In my case, teacher, I in my company, uh, my company is now purchasing uh, purchasing things uh, because mm -hmm. I I work in the the, the, the channel and mm -hmm. TV channel. I work yes. in TV channel, but um, what? Uh, but the other companies, for example, purchasing a. Uh, uh, what uh, kind of the all kind of the clothes, for example, mm -hmm. clothes, uh, shoes. Okay. Yes. I I think it's yeah. Yes. Yes. No. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Anybody else? Let's continue. Alguien más? Yes, teacher. Um, my company imports uh, sunglasses. Sunglasses. Okay. Sunglasses. Yes. Um, ophthalmic um, sunglasses and uh, lenses. Yes. Yes. Pero también ophthalmicos lenses. I'm sorry, we lost you. Lo perdimos un poco. Okay, contact, contact lens, uh -huh. uh, letter de contacto. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, and, uh, uh, and everything uh, about the, the optic. Oh, okay, okay. All right, that's good, that's good. It looks complicated. <laughs> okay, muy bien, muy bien. Let's continue with another person. Yes, alguien más? Anybody else? No? Okay, it's okay, no problem. We're going to continue down here with the part number two. Part number two, we got, uh, it says here, match the different features on a product with the definitions. Compare with a partner. We got eight words here. Hay ocho palabras. And we have eight definitions. Tenemos ocho definiciones. Let's read the vocabulary, okay? And then we're going to read the definitions and I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to match them. Uh, first off, we have size, size, okay? Size, what is size, guys? Size, what is it? Uh, I think it's, it's, it's like a tamaño in Spanish. Yes. Or... yes. It's what we have, it's what we have here, 
Okay. Yes. Yes. Like every shirt, every every uh, garment, it's, every garment. It's, tire. Has... it's like tire. It's like a tire. Yes. Or... Yes. 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 Exactly. Exactly. That's what it is. Okay. Then we have weight. Weight. That's the word. Weight. People. What is weight? Weight. Peso. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Peso. Okay. Sin la T sería pesar. El verbo. <clears throat> Muy bien. Let's continue. Price. It's easy. Price is about money. Okay. That one is easy. Dimensions. What is dimensions? ¿Qué es dimensiones? What is dimensions? We're going to see that one. Battery life. Okay. Battery life. Eso está bien sencilla de entenderla. Storage. Mm. What is a storage, guys? Storage. <coughs> storage. Almacenamiento. Oh, almacenamiento. Yes, yes. Okay. Almacenaje, almacenamiento, memoria, como decimos todos. Es lo que está arriba, storing, si lo pueden ver arriba, acá está storing. Okay, storing es lo mismo, store es el verbo. Storage es el sustantivo. Then we have function, function, easy to understand, and warranty. Warranty es warranty, ¿saben qué es warranty? Okay, muy bien, very good, very good. I'm going to, I'm going to read, leeré lo que está acá a la par, lo leeré rápido. Si usted capta una palabra que no entiende, me avisa, ok? Palabra que no entienda, me avisa. Measurements or proportions of some kind. A promise to repair or replace something within a period of time. A measure of battery performance and longevity. A thing's overall dimension or magnitude. The space available for retention or something, a body's re, uh, relative mass or quantity contained by something, the amount of money required or paid for something, and practical use of purpose to purpose in design. Okay. Yes, people, I'm going to give you les daré de tres a cuatro minutos para que lo puedan unir, match them, match them. Yes. Okay, unamosla. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Let me drink some water. If there is a word that you don't understand, please let me know. Teacher, I have a yes. question. Yes. Um, I don't know the meaning of of a things overall. Overall, overall is general. Oh, oh okay, okay. It will be, okay. be like la dimensión general de una cosa. Okay. In Spanish, Thank you. yes.
teacher. I yes. have a question. Uh, I don't know what the meaning uh, uh warranty. What is the meaning warranty? Warranty. Yes. Yes. It's it's what com uh it's what companies give you when you buy a product. They give you warranty. Like for example, if the product has a problem, you return the product because you have the warranty. In Spanish, warranty. Okay. Warranty. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He guarantee. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Exactly. Thank you. Guys, are you finished? No, not yet. No, Jax. I finished. Yes, I finished. Okay, okay. Muy bien. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, we are ready. Let's begin. Let me see, let me choose a person here. Rafael Morales. Hi. No, okay. Uh, sorry, teacher. Hi. Okay, Rafael, Hi. can you please can you please read number one size and also read the definition? The definition and size uh, is size. Uh, a body is the letter F. A body is relative mass or quantity mm -hmm. containing the something. Okay, contained by something. This one, <clears throat> excuse me, this one. Okay, let me see. People, do you agree? Do you agree with that one? ¿Están de acuerdo? I think, I think yes, teacher, because I put a letter Letter uh, number one in the letter F. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I'm I don't not know. sure, teacher. I'm sorry. I'm not sure. I, I I'm not sure. It's I'm a not sure. I, I shoot the letter B. Okay. Let, let's do this. Me too. Let's do this. Let, let's finish. Let's finish, and then I'm going to give you the, the the correct ones. Okay. Let's do that. Yes. So let's continue with number two. So size. For the moment, it's this one, letter F, for the moment, okay? Let's continue, Raquel, Elizabeth. No finish, teacher. You haven't finished? Okay, that's okay, that's fine. Thank you. Okay, let's continue with you. Carlos Eliezer. Read the second one, wait and read wait. the definition. Uh, take me uh, one minute. Um, uh, 
And for me, um, um, I are, I don't sure, but for me, is the number is the letter A. I don't know. Letter A, the first one. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. We number two wait. Will be measurements or proportions of some kind. Okay, muy bien. Let's continue. Maya, Elizabeth, read price and read the definition. Okay, number three, price. The definition is letter G. The amount of mon money required or pay for something. Okay, the amount of money required or paid for something. Yes, that is number three, price. Thank you very much. Jorge Ernesto, can you please read the number four, dimensions? Dimensions. Um, I think the letter D, I think overall dimension or magnitude. The one right next to it? Okay. This one, number four. Yes, I think. It's okay. I think overall dimension or magnitude. Muy bien, muy bien. Thank you for your answer. Edith Idali Adilida. I'm sorry. Edith Hernandez. No. Yes, Andrea. Jansi, Andrea. No, okay, muy bien. Ismael, Ernesto. Read number five. Yes. Number five, battery life. Yes. A measure of battery performance and longevity. Okay. A measure of battery performance and longevity. It's number five, battery. You can say battery, battery, or battery, battery, okay? Battery. Both, are, both are correct, yes. Both are correct. Let's continue. Thank you, thank you very much. Carlos Alberto, number six. Number six. Um, I think it's the space available, available for retention of, of something. Okay, this one. Letter storage. Three. Storage number six. Yeah. Storage, the space available storage. for retention of something. Yes. Okay, we're going to check that one out later on. Denise, read number seven. Function. Function is letter H. Practical use or purpose in design. Okay, function, practical use or purpose in design. It's this number seven, excuse me. And the last one, Ana Victoria, la última. Warranty. Yes. Letter B, a promise to repair and replace something within a period of time. Okay, within a period of time, yes. Okay, muy bien, muy bien. It will be letter number eight. Sorry. Number eight, a promise to repair or replace something within a period of time. Vamos a ver. Let's check. Uh, number two, well, let's say number one. Let me see how this is. This one is correct. Okay. This one, number two, I don't think so. I don't think number, number two is correct. Okay. Uh, number five. A measure of battery performance and longevity, number five, yes. Okay. I think overall dimension or magnitude, I think it is also correct. The space available for retention of something, number six, works fine. Uh, number one, that one might not be correct. Number three, price, it's, cor it's correct. And number seven is correct. So we just have to change storage. Uh, which other one? 
awaits. This one is not correct. Borremos acá, espérame, borraré esto. Sorry, that one. Yes. Okay. So the correct, the correct order, the correct order is like this. Number four is here. Dimensions is this one, okay? Let me put it in the middle right here. Dimensions, okay, that one is correct, dimensions. Yes. Then we have warranty, we got it correct. Battery life is correct. Then we have size. Here goes size, number one. Number one, I think it's overall dimension or magnitude, that is size, okay, size. Then we have, the next one is storage, is letter E over here, we got it correct. And then we got uh, letter F here, number one, weight is number two here. Okay, now we're good. Yeah, we got it. That's the correct order. Okay, yes. People, so we, we got most, most of them correct. We got most of them correct. And that is fantastic. Yes, I gotta say that. Okay, muy bien. Let's continue. Do you have any questions? Alguna pregunta? Teacher, one question. Yes. Um, what it mean within? Within. Uh, within. Dentro. Dentro. Oh, okay. Like, but in these cases, with, within is dentro, pero de tiempo. De tiempo. De tiempo. Oh. For example, the cake is going to be ready within one hour. El pastel estará listo dentro de una hora. The cake oh. is going to be ready within one hour. Yes. Okay. Thank you. More questions, people? No? Okay, muy bien. Let's continue with part number three. La parte número tres, acá está. Let me show it to you. In context, ask questions to a partner and write down the information. How many products does, you, does your workplace buy? Which ones are they? Approximately how many units uh, do they buy of it? And number three, how much money do you think they spend? There you go. We got three questions. We're not going to do this in, in, in couples. No haremos en parejas, haremos individual. Okay, so people answer the questions right now. I'm going to give you one minute per question. So I'm going to give you three minutes in overall. Let's go.
one more minute. People, are you ready? Let's begin with the first question. Iniciamos con la primera pregunta. Let me see. Sandra, hi. Yes. And the number one, how many pros does your workplace buy? Um, how do you say? Um, no, no, no. A uh, box of paper for printer, um, how do you say, roll, rollos? Rolls, uh -huh. Rolls of paper too, um, I'm not sure, maybe one box of paper, um, maybe five rolls of paper, um, uh, one each of ink uh, for printer. Mm -hmm. Ink, yes. Um, approxim approximately. 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 How many units? How many units? How many units? Uh, 40. Unit um, can be one one unit for 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 the week um, of the paper. In mm -hmm. the case of the paper, and uh, in the case of the in maybe. Each six months. Okay. There is and, a there is a yes yes sorry. Continue. And how much money do you think they spend on no shortage? <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> a lot of money. Yes. There is a a word in the chat. There is a word stationary. Sign case stationary. Stationary. Mm. Estación. It sounds like that, right? But no, <laughs> no. It's a, it's a, how do you call it? Es una forma general de decir papel, papel como de, de sobres, papel de factura, uh, todo eso que van de computación, impresoras, stationary. stationary. ¿Cómo se llama en español? ¿Cómo sería? Utilería. 
Papelería. Papelería, I think it is. Papelería. Yes, I think it is like that. Stationery. Stationary. Yes. Okay, muy bien. Excellent, excellent, Sandra. Excellent. Very good, very good. Thank you for your participation. Let's continue with. Let me see if we can reach Raquel right now. Raquel, Elizabeth. Yes. Yes. Are you ready? Go. Um, the question. Um, I'm sorry. It's okay. In, in, in my case, in my workplace, I uh, have five probes. Um, for example, they are closed in, closed in, closed in levels, accessories, for example, buttons, grommets, grommets. Uh, how do you say gancho de ropa? I'm sorry? Gancho de ropa? You say hanger, hanger. Hanger. Yeah, close hanger, no, just hanger. Um, anymore. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Question number two, second question. How many units of it? Approximately how many units do they buy? No? No. And the question number three, how much money do you think they spend? Mm. No. Okay, you don't know, that's okay, that's okay. Let's continue, let's move on. Thank you very much, Raquel. And let's listen to Ana Victoria. In my company, they have um, buy um, things like um, binocular, no, no, binoculars. Bi binoculars. Okay. Binoculars, beer guys, and miss net and rings in that thing. He is oh was used for um we had a monitoring stations mm -hmm. in different place in the country. Okay. Mm -hmm. The company um sometimes buy a little units. Okay, I understand. I understand. How many units do they buy? Uh, when buy the misnet, um, sometimes buy um, 20, 25 units or 30. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how much money do you think they spend? Um, um for one one miss not the the buy is 100 130 the price 130 and um, when buy the equipment equipo um, equipment equipment they spend like uh, $5,000. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of money. <laughs> yes. Okay. Muy bien. Thank you. Thank you, Ana, for your participation. Denise, you. Okay. Uh, I work in, in a bank. So okay. the products that, we, that they buy, uh, maybe for the business, there are only like paper or uh, computer parts and 
and maybe other stuff like like general things um maybe like a toilet toilet paper or cleaning stuff or i don't know <laughs> and how many units do they buy of it um they have a lot of branches so i think they they buy like a thousand <laughs> yeah, more maybe more yes. yes and how many money do i think they spend a lot of more <laughs> like more than 10,000, I think. Okay. Okay, muy bien, muy bien. Thank you, Denise, for your participation. Mayra? Hi. Hello, hi, I'm here. In my case, I work at laboratory, clinic laboratory, and okay. we are, um, need many products, for example, uh, coal, coron, Cherish, legend to for depositing blood, paper, in for the printer, water, and another another mark. Um, and the question number two um, is approximately uh, ten unit, and in some case for are um, less. And that three question, I think, is a lot of money. I don't know. I don't uh, want to sound. 1,000. OK. Yes. A, lot of, yes. a lot of money. OK. OK, muy bien, muy bien. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Let's continue with Jorge. Jorge, are you ready? Or did you participate already? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Okay, in my workplace, we buy a box of paper and folders. Uh, um, Uh, books, um, for yeah, yeah, that, that's principal, uh, princip principalmente, como se dice? mainly, ¿Cómo se dice? mainly, principalmente eso, mainly, 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 in the chat, yes, mainly, mainly, mainly that. Okay, um, and the question two, Approxim, approximate, approximate, uh, how do you, how do you pronounce? Approximately. Approx approximately, approximately. Approximately. Approximately, um, two box of paper in a month. Um, Ten notebooks uh, in a month too, uh, um, and one computer every six months. Okay. Every six months, and the last one. Okay. And the last, um, how how many? Ah, uh, uh, okay. Um, we. We spent uh, approx approximately uh, $100 for month. Okay. 100 a month is perfect. <laughs> yes. Okay. Muy bien. Muy bien. Thank you, Jorge, for sharing. Let's continue. Carlos Eliezer, can you share, please? Um, hello. Um, in my case, uh, I work in a company electrical and in my job, uh, how many products does your workplace buy? And which one there are they? Um, I think so. 
for example, dolls. Um, I don't know, say, uh, cables, electricals. Cables, wires. Uh, Why? Wires. Wires. And for example, I'm, I don't know, teacher, and cell phone, and I don't know, computers. Mm -hmm. It's so very extensive in my world because they are um, a, a lot of areas. Okay. Um, and for, for me, um, I think so that they buy on, only that phones, electrical wire, and a screen driver. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. That's great. That's okay. Thank you, Carlos, and, for sharing. And the number uh, finish or, or yes, I yes. continue. No, no. Well, stop there. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. <laughs> okay. okay. Rafael. He's not there. It's okay. All right. <clears throat> Thank you guys for your participation. We are going to continue with part number four. And in part number four, we have this. We have how much and how many. But we have here this. How to use countable and uncountable nouns. How to use countable and uncountable nouns. Yes, that's that's the, the topic. Como usar, ¿saben qué es noun? ¿Saben qué son qué es, qué es nouns? Se llaman sustantivos en español. Casi no se ve, ¿verdad? <ríe> se ve todo raro. De color se mira. Ahí está. Cómo usar sustantivos contables y no contables. Sustantivos. Esa es la palabra, sustantivos. También se les pueden decir nombres, pero la palabra correcta es sustantivos. That's the correct word. Ok, yes. Let me show you something else. Let's go back here. Regresemos acá. Let's see. Here. Uh, along this part, we did this part, we did this part here. Uh, what's a noun? What's a noun? Let me show you what a noun is. A noun can be a person, object, place, animal, event, fruit, etc. Acá está. Puede ser, dice, a person, an object, a place, animal, event, fruit. Okay, a noun, people, a noun is everything that we can see. Es todo lo que podemos ver. Okay, that's a noun, basically. Things, animals, objects, everything. That's a noun. Acá está. Example, dog, cat, money, coffee, water, information, cow, rabbit, park, clinic, restaurant, pizza, sister, child, party, apple, orange, and then, okay, yes. Muy bien, muy bien. Ahora, veamos. Tenemos acá una pregunta. We have a question. What is the plural of? What is the plural of? Guys, what is the plural of dog? Dogs. Dogs. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, dogs, dogs. What is the plural of cats? Cats. Okay, muy bien, muy bien. Cats, con S, ¿verdad? Muy bien, excellent, excellent. What is the plural of money? I think it's money. I'm sorry? Money? No difference? I think there are no difference. I, I don't okay. know. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna see that later on. Okay. Uh, what is the plural of coffee? Coffees. 
Ok, coffee, dijeron. Yeah. Ok, we're gonna see that. We're gonna check later. Luego, luego regresamos, ok, porque no. <laughs> no, this is not coffees. Ok, sorry. Let's continue. What is the oh. form of, of water? Water. It's not fluid. Water, right? Water. Water. Don't, don't, don't have. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. I'm going to show you later. Yes. Uh, what is the plural of information? Information. Yes. It's equal. Yes. yes. It's information. Lamb? What about lamb? Ay, no se tiene mucho azúcar, amiga. Lambs. Lambs. What Lamps. about cow? What about cow? Cows. 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 Okay, muy bien. Rabbits? Rabbits. Rabbits. Okay. Rabbits. Okay, you get it, you get it, you get it. Okay, parks, clinics, restaurants, pizzas, sisters, child. Child. Children. 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 I have to see your that. It's, it's the children. Children. Next <laughs> child. Okay, next okay. child. <laughs> children. Children. Party. Parties. Okay, Party. apples. Party. Apples. Apples. And apples. orange. 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 Ok, ok, muy Orange. bien, muy bien. Veamos acá. Deme un segundo, vamos a adelantarnos un poco. Ok, acá está. Observen. There are two types of nouns. Hay dos tipos de sustantivos. Count nouns and non-count nouns. Lo que se puede encontrar y lo que no se puede encontrar. Regresemos. We have money, coffee, water, and information. These four words do not have a plural form. These words don't have a plural form. No tienen plural. Okay. O más bien, el plural es incorrecto. Si lo comparamos con el español, si se puede en español decir eso, pero en inglés no se puede. Like, We, we say, uh, deme un café, dos café, tres café, right? No problem in Spanish. But in English, that's not correct. Okay? Por más que queramos usarlo como three coffees, no se puede. It's not possible. Okay? Three waters, no. <laughs> okay? Yes. Impossible. Not possible. So it will be uh, money, coffee, and water, and information. No se puede encontrar. They are non-count now. Los demás sí se pueden contar, se le agrega la S, se cambian las letras, se agrega otras letras, entonces sí se puede. Ok. But let's continue. Let me show you this information with more details later on. Let's continue here. Ok. Here we go. Count nouns, basically, look. Count nouns are nouns that have a plural form. Count nouns are nouns that have a plural form. Son aquellos que tienen una forma plural. Things you can count. Cosas que podemos contar. Carrots, trees, apples, dogs, houses, pencils, hats, potatoes, bicycles, bananas, chickens, and cars. Todo lo que está acá, everything here, we can count it. Yes. We can say one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera. Okay, here, look. Non-count nouns are nouns that don't have a plural form. Son aquellos que no tienen una forma plural. Non-count nouns, things you cannot count. Esto va unido, no va separado, okay? <laughs> va unido. Okay, things you cannot count. Tenemos acá biology. Todas las materias no se pueden contar. Las materias, like science, no se puede contar la ciencia. Uh, literature, art, sport. Ok, la no se puede contar. Mathematics, no se puede. Ok, yeah. biology, psychology, nutrition, medicine, muchas cosas más. We cannot count them. Biology, advice. Science advice, advice. It's a. Uh, I'm not sure if it's 
consejo en okay. Spanish. Exactly, exactly. Thank you, thank you. Consejo en español, yes. It's, it's like that in Spanish, yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I said we'll see, right? Ahí está. How do you say, how do you say this in, in the plural form? Plural. What teacher can you repeat? Advice, advice. Advice. Advices. <laughs> Es una, es una cosa extraña. Se dice pieces. Pieces of advice. Ahí está en el chat. Pieces of advice. Pedazos de consejo. Sería en español, ¿verdad? Pero es consejos. Yes. Ok. Coffee. Swimming. Uh, uh, swimming. Meat. Juice. Mathematics. Bread. Aids. Rain. Acá no sabe qué es. Ah, diabetes. No sé qué es esto. <laughs> I don't know, people. I don't know what that is. Help, uh, cheese, and softball. Todo lo que está acá no se puede contar. Lo que ustedes pueden ver. Okay. Like, we got books. Well, in this case, it's not a book. Subjects, more like. Subjects, sports, and many things. Veamos acá. Quiero ver esta lista, no, muy sencilla. Acá veamos. This one is important. Okay. La que está acá es importante. Lista de lo que no se pueden encontrar. De cosas que no se pueden encontrar. Look, butter, bread, sugar, pastry, fish, spaghetti, meat, poultry, coffee, milk, oil, and tea. Con referencia a food and drinks. Comidas y bebidas que no se pueden encontrar. Bueno. Básicamente, todo lo que se puede beber, no se puede contar. Like everything, everything you drink, you cannot count it. All liquids are, are not count nouns. Preguntas sobre comida y bebida. Questions. No? Yes. Uh, what is the meaning of poultry? It's like animals. Son como uh, aves de, de, de domésticas, no, perdón. De engorde. I don't to call it in Spanish. Yes. Son, es, es, son aves, gallinas, uh -huh. okay. olotes. And what is the meaning of pa pas pastry? Oh, that's pasta. Pasta. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, okay. It's pasta. Let me look for it in, the, in, in, the, in the, this dictionary. Poultry. Son a. Uh, a ver, doméstica, a ver, de corral. Carne blanca es, es, es old, old oh, tree. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. And look, we got some gases. Can I say what I'm Gases, air, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, smoke, and steam. Aire, hidrógeno, nitrógeno, oxígeno, uh, humo, steam, vapor. Steam, vapor. No se pueden contar, ok. We cannot, we cannot count all those things. Activities. Uh, bank among, chess, homework, research, music, football, soccer, baseball, cricket, work, and spending. No se puede contar todo lo que está acá. Ok. Do you have any questions? Teacher, what it means back among? It's a game. Es un, es un deporte. Uh, yes. About what? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I never hear that. Es como, es una, lleva una cestita, una cesta. I cannot Bad show mental? you. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I, I remember that. I remember the game. It's a, 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 how do you say, lanzar? Throw. English, a, Throw. Oh, sorry? Throw. Throw. It's not throw I throw the, the disc and the, and the sister and the, and the oh. pocket. I don't know. With the, I never the change. I, I don't, I, 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 I don't, I don't so. know. I don't know how explain explain you, but I remember. I think it's, it, it's the game. It is the game. I can show you. I can show you. Don't worry. 
I don't know the game. I know, I know it is a game, but I don't know. It's okay. Acá le muestro. Aquí está y apareció. Sé que es un juego, pero no sé qué tipo. Aquí está. Sí. There you go. It's a board game. Oh, board. no, no. No, no, no. no. I lost. De mesa. Board game. I was lost. <laughs> it looks... Parece, parece eso. I'm sorry. It looks, it looks very bad. I don't like it. So we're back here. So, okay. More questions about activities? Are no? Okay. What do you mean research? Research? Research. 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 Investigación. Sure. Investigación. Sure. Cricket. Cricket. Otro juego. Yes. Cricket. Es otro en deporte. Cricket. Oh. Okay. More questions? No, 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 teacher. Collection, collections of things. Luggage, clothing, furniture, equipment, hardware, software, and money. Collection of things es porque tienen una, una categoría dentro, como dinero, like monedas, billetes, centavos, dieces, coras, like all of that. Luggage. What is luggage? Sank is luggage? Okay, no. equipaje. Equipaje. No se puede contar el equipaje. Yes. Okay. Luggage, clothing. Preguntas? No. The chair, uh, for example, I can count the luggage, but I I can count uh, the package. Package. Las mal package package las maletas. No, this is baggage. Ah, baggage. Baggage. Baggage on the planet. Luggage, luggage, equipaje. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, luggage. Uh, baggage is luggage. Okay. But I can count the baggage. Baggage. Baggage, yes. But, but luggage, no. Luggage, no. Okay. Yes. More questions? No? Okay. Abstract, advice, like I just anteriormente, anger, beauty, courage, happiness, honesty, satisfaction, warmth, chaos, luxury, peace, joy, trust, charity, energy, failure, democracy, knowledge, information, and wisdom. Cosas abstractas, abstractas. Okay, lo que tenemos acá. Do you have a question or any questions about this vocabulary? What is wisdom? With wisdom, wisdom, what you know, you are very wise. Salomon from the Bible, Sabidu. sabiduria, wisdom. Thank you. Yes, more questions? No? Okay. Then we have weather, weather words. The clima, rain, snow, thunder, lightning, weather. No podemos contar lluvia? No, okay. No se puede contar la lluvia. Snow, tampoco. Thunder, tampoco. Lightning and weather. None of those. You cannot count them. Materials and substances. Aluminum, asphalt, Cement, concrete, cotton, gold, silver, lumber, wood, wool, entre otras. Okay, do you have questions about these ones? Yes. Uh, 
with the last three words, teacher, lumber, wood, wood. Lumber, madera. What do you mean? Madera, what? lumber. Lumber, lumber, madera. Yes, okay. wood, madera. Wood. Madera. Y la última, wool, es esa, ¿cómo wool. se llama? Que le quitan las, las ovejas. Lana. Lana. Yes, Lana. Yes. Lana. Ah, ok. Ok, ok, ok. Wood, madera. Ok. Thank mm. you. More questions? Lumber, wood, wool. No, estamos bien. Okay, okay, remember. Remember, we have we have two two types of nouns. Two types of nouns. Nouns that we can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. And nouns that we cannot count. That is not possible. Example, water, one water, two waters, those aguas, tres aguas. No, right? Incorrect. So we have to pay attention to the context to see if the word is countable or non-countable. Let me continue here. Look, eso que está en el libro, how much and how many, ¿qué significa how much, people? What does how much cuesta? mean? I'm sorry? ¿Cuánto cuesta? Okay, something something like that. Muy bien. How much significa cuánto o cuánta? Okay, cuánto, cuánta. How much? What does how many mean, people? What does how many mean? ¿Qué significa how many? Es casi lo mismo, solo que ¿Cuántos? ¿Cuántos o cuántas? ¿Cuántos o cuántas? Or, or quantas. Quantas or quantas? Quantas or quantas? Yeah. Yes. Okay, basically here we use we use how much usamos how much plus excuse me observing how much plus non-count nouns. Usamos el how much con cosas que no podemos contar. Example, no hay ningún ejemplo aquí de esos. Let me show you, let me give you one. How much water do you, excuse me. There you go. How much water do you drink daily? Cuánta agua bebes diariamente? Cuánta? How much? Cuánta? Water? How much water? Okay. No se puede decir how many waters. Cuántas aguas? Cuántas aguas? No, right? Yes. So how many? How many we use it with? Count nouns. Ahí está. Count nouns. Count nouns. Example here. How many cars do you have? ¿Cuántos carros tienes? How many cars do you have? Okay. Usamos el how much con cosas que podemos contar. Perdón. Con cosas que no podemos contar. Usamos how many con cosas que sí podemos contar. Okay. Así sería, de esa forma. Ernesto, Jorge Ernesto, hi. Can you please help us read? Help us read this information. Sure. Um, how much does the refrigerator weight? How okay, much okay. does, how much does it cut? How much is the warranty? How much does is storage? Okay, okay, muy bien, muy bien. Thank you for your 
participation Hamas depreciated weights. Oh, I guess the weight is not mal. <laughs> how much does it cost? How much is the warranty? And how much that does it storage? Store, sorry, I didn't say storage. Store. <laughs> okay, muy bien, thank you. Mayra, El Elizabeth. Please, yes. please, please, please. Yeah. Okay, how many features does it have? How many color is this in? How many function does it have? And how many products did you want? Okay, we have this. How many features does it have? How many colors is this in it? Is this in? How many functions does it have? And how many products do you want? Okay, let's continue here. Teacher. Yes. Weight is is not a uh, countable thing. Weight. Which one? Yes. No, it's uh, this. ¿Cuánto es pesa el refrigerador? Es verdad. Aquí está, incorre está incorrecto. Lo voy a corregir para que no sé por qué aparece eso. Sería esta forma. Lo que, está lo que está abajo no. no, no. Ah, Sigue okay. arriba, el verbo. Es abajo, weight, weight es peso, peso, peso. Y arriba, weight sin la, sin la T sería pesar, el verbo. Eso está incorrecto. Está incorrecto. Sí, sí. Ok. No, lo que contamos acá no, no, no me incluyo ninguno. Si ustedes ven, si no notan acá en how much, no hay ningún sustantivo. Solo está how much, how much, how much. En cambio con how many se aparece. How many features, colors, functions, and products. Okay. But that's okay. It's okay. No problem. It's fine. Take a look at this. How many, how much, plus nouns. Vamos a ver aquí para eso más sencillo. Okay. Here. Look. The choice between how, between much and many depends on the noun it is describing. Much is used to describe mass nouns or non count nouns like juice, rice, patience, and happiness. When using much, the noun will always be singular. It cannot be plural. Many is used to describe count nouns or nouns that can be counted like books, ideas, leaves, and shoes. When using may, many, the noun will always be plural. Okay, yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's continue, let's go back. Let me show you what we are going to do. Let's go back here. Estamos acá en la parte número cinco. It says here, complete the following questions, excuse me, using how much or how many. Number one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to give you from four to five minutes to finish this activity. Elijan entre how much and how many. ¿Cuál diría en cada espacio de la casa de la uno a la seis? Guys, go. I'm going to give you four or five minutes. Let me get uh, a little water, okay? I'm going to get some water. I'm thirsty.
Are you guys ready? Yes? Okay. Let's begin. We're gonna go one by one. Let me see. <clears throat> Rafael Morales. Okay, no está, parece. Let's continue. Uh, Edith. Hi. Okay, number one, Edith. Oh. How many? Read, read. How, how many pieces do I Easter. need to sample this? Okay, okay. How many pieces? How many? Let's see. It. it will be how many pieces do I need to assemble this? ¿Qué significa assemble? What is assemble? Armar. Exactly, exactly. Put together. Okay, put together. That is assemble. Unir. Poner, uh, armar, etc. Yes, thank you, thank you. Let's continue with the second question or the second example. Ana Victoria, read it, please. Uh, the second question is, how many do these books cost? In this one, no, it, it is how much. Okay. But it's, it's, this one is about, it's about money, it's about price. How much money, how much, sorry, how much? This keyboard is killing me. Excuse me. How much do these books cost? ¿Cuánto cuestan estos libros? How much do these books cost? Number three, Carlos Alberto. Three. Um, how much? How much is the battery life? of this computer. Okay, how much is the battery life of this computer? Yes. How much is the battery life of this computer? Exactly. There you go. Thank you for helping me, Sandra Ive. Number four. Number four. How many hours do I share it? How many? How many hours do I charge? Charge. Charge. Do I charge? How many charge. hours do I charge it? So I guess charge? Charge. Cargar. Yes. Okay. That's what it is. Charge. Cambia. Cargar. También charge es cobrar. In a different context, for example, uh, the barber, the barber charges me three dollars. Me cobra three dollars por cortarme el pelo. Charges. Okay. In a different context. Thank you. Mayra Elizabeth, number five. Okay, uh, the number five. How much money do you have? Okay, how? Much. How much money? How much money do you have? Yes. How much money do you have? Well, I have two quarters, people. Tengo dos quarters. <laughs> yes. Number six. Let me continue with number six. Jorge Ernesto. Yes. Uh, how many gallons of water does this need? Okay. How many gallons of water does this need? Okay. Yes. How many? There you go. Okay, muy bien. Thank you everyone for your participation over here. And uh, we're going to continue, vamos a continuar. Let me stop here. Let me stop sharing. Thank you for your participation. And uh, I'm going to bring this back, hold on. Here. No. It's just uh, the uh, 
Thank you. Let me take attendance. It's, it's almost time. Let me take attendance. Ana Victoria Galan Canton. Present. Thank you. Asalia Melanie Portillo de Espinosa. Brian David Ramirez Bernal. Carlos Alberto Orrego Monge. Monge, Monge, sorry. Uh, I'm here. Thank you. Carlos Eliezer Dimas Soriano. I'm here. Thank you. Denise Alejandra Zuniga. Present. Thank you. Diana Jamilet Maravilla Navas. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Present. You. Ismael Ernesto Puyat Solís. Present teacher, good night. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. Thank you very much. Rafael Alejandro Morales Avila. Yeah, present teacher. Teacher. Yes. Can I speak with you after class, please? I'm sorry? Can I speak with you after class, please? Yes, of course. Yes, yes. No problem. Uh, Raquel Elizabeth La Rosa Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Sandra Ives Mendoza de Flores. Sara Rachel Salazar de Cosme. Present teacher. Sandra, ¿verdad? Sandra. Yes, thank you. Jansi Andrea Solórzano Castro. Thank you. Ok, muy bien. Le corresponde que hace este día a... ¿Qué se hizo? Ya se fue, mire. No es posible. <ríe> no, no. Ana Victoria. Yes. Ana Victoria se queda. Okay. People, thank you for being here today. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Los veo el día mañana. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, Good night. everyone. Good night. Bye, Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye, everyone. Hola, teacher. Bueno, no sé si me escucha que hay lluvia fuerte. Yo sí. no tengo preguntas, pero sí quería avisarle: hay días que a veces se me complica por las actividades de trabajo. Entiendo. Porque algunas veces me toca estar en campo y más que todo siempre viajo allá a la zona de Oriente, a Bahía de la Unión. Entonces se me hace a veces un poquito complicado. Lo que he hecho en algunas ocasiones es que me conecto al teléfono y mantengo la cámara apagada, porque no puedo a veces estar participando, pero pero estoy ahí conectada más que todo eso, mañana probablemente vaya a la unión, pero así como están las condiciones ahorita de lluvia no sé si voy a poder eh, viajar, porque como es trabajo de campus, si hay lluvia no no logramos embarcarnos, porque es para embarcarnos ok, entiendo, entiendo Así como usted ha hecho siempre, uh, con el teléfono conéctese y déjelo en cámara apagada. Uh -huh. Pero siempre antes para, para que esté al tanto de eso. Sí, claro. Ajá. Yeah. Eso hago, mando un mensajito, ¿verdad? dependiendo. Vaya, mañana, por ejemplo, si al final logro viajar, eh, dependiendo si no tenemos actividades en la tarde, tarde, me voy a poder conectar. Si no, solo con la cámara apagada del celular, porque no voy a llevar mi computadora. Okay, más entiendo. que todo por la lluvia y no sé cómo van a estar las condiciones allá entonces para no exponerla no, no la llevo entiendo, entiendo. eso más que todo ¿verdad? que a veces tengo un poco de complicaciones con eso porque es trabajo de campo ok uh -huh. ok y nada más ok, está bien <risa> y cualquier cosa ahí le escribo al chat perfecto, no hay problema me parece, me parece bien, está bien entonces está bien. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Ok, que descanse entonces. Me quedo con Rafael. Good night.
Good night. Hello, Rafael. Hello, teacher. Eh, hello, teacher. Eh, sorry porque no estuve participando en clases, pero eh, sí. le quería comentar la situación que tengo actualmente con, con inglés. Eh, sucede, teacher, que este módulo yo lo cursé hace más de dos meses, Genial. pero hubo un impasse, un impasse con las personas que estaban llevando eh, mi documentación y no pude inscribirme al módulo 5. Eh, uh -huh. Resulta que no hubo, no me inscribieron, no se envió documentación de parte de mi empresa, eh, me avisaron muy tarde, cuando le envié me dijeron que ya no se podía. Entonces, posterior a ello, quise hacer eh, el reingreso, ¿verdad? Para este módulo 5, porque ya estaba el módulo 5. De hecho, eh, ya en la herramienta y en la plataforma aparece cursado. Este día, porque a mí me enviaron la invitación el día viernes o el sábado, si mal no recuerdo, entonces les comenté que yo a este módulo ya había sido inscrito, o sea, ya estuve anteriormente con el teacher, sí. no me recuerdo cómo se llamaba el teacher, eh, pero bien, ya lo había cursado al 100%. Ajá. Entonces me dijeron que lastimosamente la inscripción ya estaba y que por error de inglés corporativo, la persona que me inscribió no pudo validar que yo ya estaba inscrito en el módulo. Entonces me, me va a tocar repetirlo. Pero ellos me dijeron que no se podía hacer el cambio ni yo de negarme porque prácticamente es como que me negara a, a asistir al curso. Entonces que solo me inscribiera, eh, me conectara, solo que pasara ahí la asistencia y pues... Eh, Prácticamente eso, solo que vea Zoom, me dijeron, y, y, e Insaform, que ahí les aparece mis horas de conexión de todo el módulo, porque prácticamente sería volverlo a cursar. Yo entiendo también que puede, puede ser parte de mi refuerzo, pero les explicaba también que a mí se me había pasado un inconveniente, porque yo no estoy con la empresa que, que estaba anteriormente, entonces, sí. obviamente, ahí el horario sí era más flexible, ¿verdad? Porque solo era de día, ahora prácticamente mi horario es, es, es rotativo, entonces ahora sí se me complica un poco más, por eso le había dejado un stand-by con, con el inglés corporativo, bueno, del módulo anterior, ¿verdad? Que no, sí, no, no finaliza el módulo 5. Entonces, esa es mi situación, teacher, por la cual eh, no he podido participar porque prácticamente he estado en mis tareas de trabajo en este momento. Entonces, eh, le quería comentar mi situación por si, eh, para que fuera de su conocimiento, que me voy a estar conectando de esta forma, no sé si... Eh, esa fue la indicación que me brindaron, de hecho, eh, de inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Quisiera de esta manera. Ok, si es si así, me parece bien, no hay ningún problema. Uh, lo único que si tiene alguna pregunta siempre o duda que te la clase, que estamos participando ahí, puede participar, no hay ningún problema. O no hay ningún problema en ese, en ese aspecto. Ok. Ok, teacher, gracias. De hecho, les agradezco porque si puedo despejar alguna duda. Como le repito, ahora sí es, es prácticamente que estoy un poco sujeto a, a mi horario laboral, ¿verdad? Entonces, por ahí es que no puedo estar así participando en todas las clases, no porque lo hiciera sin ningún inconveniente, eh, pero cualquier duda que tenga, igual en la clase, eh, pues se la hago preguntar cuando pueda participar. Va a bien, parece bien entonces. Va, excelente. Muchísimas gracias, teacher. Okay. Pasen una feliz noche. En el caso, Hasta Rafael. Luego. Good night. Gracias. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Hi, guys. Uh, we have a couple of meetings right here. I'm going to give you some homework. Okay. This is what we're going to do. How many, how much? Uh, that's the topic.
Okay. Over here, I have written down uh, some nouns. Count and don't count. What I want you guys to do is to take these nouns and make sentences or questions using how many, how much. You're gonna use how much with it with the non-count nouns, and you're going to use how many with count nouns. You're going to make six or seven uh, questions using all of them. Let me give you an example of each. Example, how much coffee do you drink? How much coffee do you drink? Okay, that's one example. An example with how many is this one. How, how many, how many employees, employees, empleados, how many employees How many employees attended the seminar? ¿Cuántos empleados asistieron al seminario? How many employees attended the seminar? So that's what you're going to do. You're going to write examples with, examples with how much and examples with how many. All right, guys, continue with the practice. I'll see you again sometime. Bye. Be safe. Peace.